What's up everyone and welcome to episode 18 of Game Dev. This episode we're actually going to be loading in the level to actually turn it into data that we can use in here. Uh, so last episode we took a look at loading a string function into this. We're going to be doing a very similar thing, uh, but this time we're going to be doing it into for JSON. So first and foremost, let's actually load in the level uh, into our setup here. So we're just, I'm just going to make a folder called level. And I'm going to drag and drop in that sprite map that we created from last time. So if we just open this up, take a look at it, this is what we created from tiled last episode. So just remember this, uh, the data that we're going to be needing in here is the width, the height, and the layer data. Uh, we're only going to be using layer 0 and I'm only going to account for that. Keep in mind that this is an, an array in uh, based on here, so we will have to take a look at that. Um, also remember that we're using render order write down, so that means it stop, starts up here, goes to the right, and goes down. So we need to do our for loops when we're loading, um, not loading, we need to use our for loops as such when we're actually reading this data here. So yeah, that's about it. So let's uh, get started. Let's create a level function here, or a level class. Uh, we'll call it level. Okay, and it's going to be part of alpha. Once again, go to main here, and we will add it up here. Part level dot dart, and we're also going to be needing a new import here. So we're going to import dart convert, and this is going to allow us some conversion methods to convert from strings to JSON and JSON to strings and other types of conversions. Uh, so let's create the class. And in this class, we're going to have some data here. So we'll have the int16 list for the tile data. Uh, we'll have the string path. We will have an int width, int height. And that's what we're going to be using for now. Let's go this dot path in the constructor again. So it's going to be setting this, and it'll take this string as an argument. And then we will just do uh, load level. We'll just create a function here. Uh, we can asynchronously load these later on, but for now I'm just going to load them straight up when we call the level. And let's create the load level function. So it's going to return a future in 16 list. Uh, load level. So again, if we, you can check back last episode for talk about futures and completing and stuff like that. Uh, we are going to be using these again, so I'm not going to explain them this episode. But you can take a look at last episode if you're confused as to what they do. Completer. And we're going to call that load string function we used. And we'll load string on path. We're going to say dot then. And then string will be passed in to this function. So this is just shorthand for a function here with the argument of a string. And then we're going to say var data equal json dot decode str. We're going to say the width of this level is equal to data width and the height is equal to data height. So the way that this is working, this decode, is it's actually decoding it into a map that we can use. Uh, technically it's a JSON object, but the JSON object implements a map. So we can just call things like an array like this, like a hash map or something in Java would be the equivalent. Uh, and now we're going to actually set the tile data. So we're going to say, uh, first off we'll create a temporary variable. We'll say int list level data equal to data layers at zero data. Okay, so if we go back into the sprite map, we're hitting layers, then we're taking the first instance and we're going into the data. So layers here, first instance is this one, this object, and then the data. And then we'll actually set up this tile data for the object here. So we'll say tile data equal new int 16 list dot from list, we'll just say level data. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll do completer uh, complete. We don't need to complete with tile data. And then down at the bottom here, we'll say return completer dot future. Okay. And I just want to make sure that this tile data is appropriate. So again, let's uh, let's load it in here. We'll say int y is equal to zero because again we're starting on the right corner, or the left corner, reading to the right and then reading down, so we need to load in this x first and then we need to load the y. So the x one is going to be top here, we'll say uh, y is less than height, y plus plus, and then inside that we need to do the width, in int x equals zero, x is less 
X is less than width, X plus plus. You can tell how much I type I's in these, so I just keep fucking spamming it here. Uh, so in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we create a variable on the Y, and we'll call it line. And then in the X, we're going to load data into that line, so we'll say line is equal to uh, any previous data we have. We will offset it by file data and x plus y uh, plus y times width and close that so this is going to access the index the appropriate index that we're reading right now and then right here we'll just do print line okay and in the main function we're just going to cr do it in our start we'll say new level is equal to level what is it level slash sprite map dot json okay so again we're just passing in this so what this is going to do again it's going to call a new level then we're going to go in here and it's going to do load level and then it's going to load this and spit out this print so we can just run it right here run as dart team launch and we will see in console once this has loaded and built out do, do, do we switch into the console of our actual game you see here's the level, so this is the one that we created in, in our last episode. You see that we had air, we had the base here, the floor. Uh, one was the very first left tile, three was the very right tile, and two were middle tiles. And then 17 was the bottom left, 18 was the bottom middle, and 19 was the bottom right. Uh, we had this little platform over here that we made on this edge, and we had this platform over here. So everything's all good, everything is coming up millhouse, one might say. So that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode we'll actually load this tile onto our graphics. We'll do the graphics part of this level and such. So I will see you guys next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was nice and easy. Not too much uh, to talk about, not too much to do. Uh, if you guys are using different uh, render style or what is it, what do they call it? Render orders, uh, instead of write down, you will need to change up this for loop when you're reading data from it. Uh, we could do a conversion for that, but I'm always going to be using write down because it's pretty much what you normally use. So just keep that in mind, uh, make sure this is write down, if it's not, change it to write down or understand what write down is actually doing, again starting at the top left, going to the right, and then after you've proceeded to the right you go down, uh, there are different ways, but just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So I will see you guys ne next episode, have a good day, and if you have any questions or anything be sure to post them in the comments below, uh, check out my Patreon if you want the source code to this episode or any changes, it'll list the changes and such, or want to get in contact with me over Skype or whatever, that's all listed in Patreon. You don't have to support, it's just a nice way to help me out. Um, so yeah, have a good day guys, take it easy, and I'll see you next episode.